this is my biggest complaint with this Ohio Steel is uh you can see how this is packaged you know that's hitting into that they just throw a little piece of paper in here and think that should protect everything you can see that's ready coming off I mean that's just laying in there I mean move these wheels out of the way I mean, you just got steel brackets laying in here, scratching on the other steel bracket down there. Oh, I'm sure I'll find chip pieces of metal on here. as you can see. So here's what we have for parts. You have the top piece, all your aerator pieces there, tying's go on, hitch, axle, side plates, owner's man and all the little uh, spurs, two tires, bag of bolts. As you've seen, a lot of the pieces were scratched because it was poorly packaged. They have some plastic caps for the foot lever. You get your hitch pin. 
You got some longer bolts that I'm assuming are for the hitch. You have this one bigger and one with a bigger nut. ES unlocked nut. A bunch of little ones. A little bit longer ones. Flat washers. Lock washers. You have regular hex nuts. And then you have some, once again, ESN lock nuts. And then you have all your pins and clips for your tines. This rubber handle for the latch. I'm guessing these are thicker ones for the axle. City Hall to the No Halstein office. So here's what you should have for parts. And we're going to go to step one here. Um, you know, attach hitch to top plate and tighten hardware. So, as you can see, you can see they got a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut, so that's not going to be an ESN, it's just going to be a regular hex nut. And the bolts come from the bottom up. And it's saying note hole location, so they want that hole on that side of the hitch. So let's go take a look at ours. So these are the two holes our hitch is going to go into. This one and this one. And you can see how that hole is off the same direction as theirs is. So, let's do that step. Now, one thing I do before I tighten this up, it's not required, but I'm going to take a square here and just make sure that axles are that hitch is square to the bottom plate so it pulls nice. Um, and then bolts are 916s for you. I also noticed if you caught me mess up. I had them backwards. Your flat washer, lock washer goes on top. Well, on the nut side. Um, so I'm going to straighten this up, tighten it up, and we'll get on. So step number two, attach center plates to top plate and tighten hardware. Insert bushings to hold spool in place. So they're calling this piece here a spool. Now they want you to put all the spools on first and then go through back through and put all the tines in. And I guess you could do it that way, but I don't see why you couldn't put the tines on first. Um, but we'll do it the way they want us to and you can see here once again bolts from the bottom through to the top lock washer not no flat washers
Well, another thing is, there's a little weld splatter in that inside here. And these bushings don't slide in very nice at all. I mean, you'd have to beat them in, and I really don't like that, because then if you ever got to get them back out to replace them, you're going to have one hell of a time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take carbide burr on a die grinder and just run through there, all of them real quick, and just kind of clean that up in there a little bit better. As you see, just that little 10 seconds of die grinding makes these slide pretty well in and out right now, so that'll make save your ass if you ever got to uh, replace these. point this out this right here the spool rubs up against the side plate with no plastic I would like to see a plastic washer in there or something to prevent wear into the side plate um, they could also drill holes in each one of these spools and put a grease fitting in there so you could fill this whole axle shaft with grease because you would have grab one of these. Hang on a second. You have that distance of space inside that whole, inside them spools to the axle that you could fill with grease, which would just help prevent wear a little bit. Uh, this might be something I do eventually down the road is drill a hole in each one of them. Drill a hole in each one of these, put a grease nipple in there, and fill that whole thing full of grease. Because I would rather like to see something there. So you don't have steel on steel. But anyways, step three. Step three, hold foot lever in place and slide axle into position, then tighten hardware. Insert tube plugs into foot lever using a mallet if necessary so you have our axle shaft foot lever so you're going to hold that foot lever in place slide that axle shaft through the foot lever through the spool out the other side through your other side of the foot lever and note the way the foot lever goes and then we're going to put these little plastic caps in which are these into the end.
Now, on these, you do use them ESM lock nuts on both sides, because that's your foot lever. There's no lock nut or flat washer on that side or anything like that. It's just the bolt and the ESM lock nut. So step four, slide bushing, spool, and spacer onto both ends of axle as shown, as shown. So we have our foot lever, our center one. We're gonna slide a bushing in. Another bushing on this side. Spacer, bushing, spool. Does not show bushing on the end here yet. Same way on this side. So here we have our center one, our foot lever. We're gonna do bushing, spool, bushing, spacer, spool, no bushing on the end. Now as you see, there's no bushing on that one yet, and there is one that has the tying already on, so I put that one on the end. Same thing over here, I did not put that bushing in yet. And then you have your spacer here, both these have bushings in them. You got a bushing there, and then this is your foot lever already. Step five, attach side plates to top plate and tighten hardware. Insert final bushings onto both ends of the axle. So we're gonna put these side plates on. And then once we get that side plate on, then we're gonna put that last bushing into the side plate, which once again, I'd like to see a, a, a plastic washer on this side because you got this spool up against the side plate with no bushing or spacer or anything in between there. Something I don't like about it. i do the same thing on the other side.
Okay. Let's see, we got that on there real nice. I would like to see a washer in there. Step six, slide wheel brackets onto axle as shown and tighten hardware. Slide washer and wheels onto wheel brackets and install cotter pin. Bend legs of cotter pin to secure. So we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put that bracket on. We're gonna put a bolt through that hole, and then we're gonna slide a washer on, or a wheel on, another washer, and we're gonna put that cotter pin in on both sides. Starting to run out of parts. Starting to look more like an aerator. Okay. So number seven. Hook the tine spring into the cutout as shown on the left. Push the tine spring towards the center of the spool until it looks locks locks into the slot. Secure with pin and as shown. So now we get to put all the tines on. So we're gonna get that little hook and that cutout on the left side. We're gonna put our tine in there and then we're gonna pin it. So we're gonna put our tine in and then we're gonna put a hairpin clip and that pin on there. That's what's all in that bag. So this should take a while. Just to show you that a little bit better, this is the one that they already have done. Um, as you can see, the spring, yeah, right there it is. It's hooked in there. Your pin goes through. You put a hairpin on this side. 
And that just gives that that spring activation. This is gonna take a while. There's like 40 of them to put on. Good time to crack open a beer. You see that spot right there? Right there, where the hell are you? That. Right there. That nice little spot. Is preventing this pin from going through that hole. Awesome. Same hole, I had to redrill it in order to get that weld splat or left behind piece out of there. Okay, we have all our tines on now. They're all free springing. Um, everything seems to be moving good, so let's see what the next step is. Eight, rotate each spool and verify that all 40 tines are pointed in the right, or in the same direction as shown. Well, we basically already did that. Um, slide locking, slide locking handle through the hole from the top plate and fasten to foot lever. Install hand grip, grip and hitch pin as shown. Let's go around the next step. Okay. So before I do that, before I forget about it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little bit, a couple shots of grease in there.
to help make this handle go on real easily. I'm just gonna give it a little shot of this inside. So for tools, you'll need a mallet, a square if you want to get everything straight, picking those pliers, sockets, three wrenches. The sizes you're going to need are half inch, nine sixteenths, and three quarters. And if you get a craptastic one that doesn't fit, you're going to need a drill and a quarter inch drill bit. And cordless impact makes it go a lot quicker. And there you go. That's all done. Just gotta flip her over 